In this video, I will cover the installation of a single gain light switch replacing a multi-way switch in my hallway. A multi-way light switch is a light switch that can be turned on or off from multiple locations. It's important to keep in mind, if you do have a multi-way switch, there are a few wiring scenarios in which Brilliant will not work. Case number one is if any other light switch on the same circuit. Case number two is if you are trying to replace your four-way switch in the middle of a circuit with a Brilliant control. A good way to tell if the switch is a four-way is if there are four wire terminals in addition to the ground terminal. If you face these scenarios, you can refer to the diagrams found in your installation guide or visit the support section of the Brilliant website. First, Find your circuit breaker and make sure to identify the switch for the place that your light is located in and turn this off. Do not attempt to install your Brilliant if the circuit breaker has not been turned off. Before proceeding with removing your light switch and installing Brilliant, check that your light switch has no active power before proceeding with removing your switch. Now, I'll use the flathead screwdriver to remove the switch cover. With the faceplate removed, I will now use the Phillips screwdriver to pull out the switch from the gang box. In some cases, you may need to take off electrical tape from your old light switch. Now is a good time to take a few photos of your wiring to help you remember which wire goes where. Be sure to grab a couple different angles. Next, I'm going to unscrew the wires. I prefer to leave the ground wire for last. If you run into difficulty prying your wires off the screws, you can use your needle nose pliers to help. With the switch free of wires, I can now set aside the old switch. Straighten the wire ends with your needle nose pliers. Now that I have access to all the wires, I will identify which wires are which. I have ground, which is a bare copper wire, sometimes covered in green shielding. These are your traveler wires, which are L1 and L2. Here, they are black and red. This black wire is sheathed on its own. This is the common wire. It usually comes from a separate sheath that houses black, neutral, and ground. It was probably connected to the black screw on your old switch. The two white wires in a cluster in the back, these are the neutral wires. Next, I want to take the exposed wires and make sure they are not too long so as to prevent potential shorts. The Brilliant Base has a great diagram to check the length while trimming. <laughs> I can now start wiring the Brilliant base. You always want to make sure your Brilliant is facing up when installing. The light bulb in the front should be facing up. We'll begin with the ground terminal. The green terminal here with the green screw. Find your ground wire. This is usually green or copper colored. Make sure to insert the wire and screw it until it's tight. Give it a good tug to be sure. Next, I'll take the common wire here and screw that in tight. After the common wire, you'll take your traveler wires, which are in the same sheath. Because this is a multi-way installation, you'll be removing the three-way circuit sticker. Insert the two traveler wires. Order does not matter because Brilliant automatically senses which is which. Next, I'll use the white neutral wire extension to connect to the white neutral cluster. I'll start by taking off the wire nut from the neutral wires. I prefer to screw the neutral wire into the terminal hole next to the light silver screw of the Brilliant base first. Then, I can take the white wire extension and connect it to the neutral wire cluster. Here, I will be using the existing wire nut in my gang box. It's possible your wires may come out during the installation process. This can happen if the screws are not tightened down properly. Simply loosen the screw and place the exposed wire in the terminal hole. I'll be sure to screw them in tighter this time around. Before inserting the Brilliant base, check that your wires are in the proper place. The screws are tight, and give the wires a tug to make sure they are secure. The common wire on C near the black screw. The traveler wires connected to L1 and L2. The neutral wire is connected to the end terminal, and the extension cable is attached to the cluster of neutral wires in the gang box, and ground connected to the terminal near the green screw. Now I'll twist and make sure the Brilliant is in its place and right side up. I'll use the screwdriver to align and secure the base to the gang box. For the little retention pieces here, 
Best practice is to tighten until the strain relief depresses and not back out. It will tend to deform with pressure and it may be too loose if you back out. It is calibrated to an appropriate amount of tightness when it depresses slightly. Next, I will go to the breaker and switch on the power. I'll press the white button to check that my lights are now working. Sure enough, they turn on. I'll press one more time to turn them back off. Now I know the base is installed the right way. The last thing I need to do is attach the faceplate to the base in order to get my Brilliant powered on. Line it up, then firmly press down on the top of the faceplate until it clicks. You'll know when the Brilliant is successfully installed when the screen is illuminated. You can now peel off the sticker and proceed to configure your Brilliant. That's all there is to it. Check out additional videos and the support page for additional installation tips.